Hello and welcome to Magic the Gathering Arena. So I have been playing Magic the Gathering for a long time to be honest. Um, like computer games, I've been playing card games and things like that for, you know, quite a long time. Really enjoy Magic the Gathering, um, so I figured I would give Magic the Gathering Arena a try. Now, it is a free-to-play game, which leads to sort of the inevitable dual currency system, you know, one that you can buy from a store, which I'm not too keen on, but, you know, if that's your thing, go for it, you know. The packs aren't exactly too expensive, and you can earn them from real-world money. So, you know, not terrible. Now, to earn... Uh, the gems, the gems you can obviously purchase, which, you know, not going to be doing. Uh, when I started playing this game, I decided that at no point would I ever buy gems. Um, the other way of earning gems is in some of the competitive drafts and things like that, they offer gem rewards if you win a certain number of times. To play them, you do need to pay the gems. Um... I think there's some things, uh, there you go, some of the things you can pay, you know, uh, gold points to enter the tournament instead of gems, and I think there are ways to earn gems, I'm not 100% sure though. I've only been playing the game for about 4 or 5 hours. Um, earning gold, however, you can do in competitive tournaments, just like those. You can also get them just by finishing daily and weekly quests. And you also unlock reward packs by completing, you know, wins daily and weekly, or different constructed decks. So, for example, if I play a game, I can get this reward, which is a green and blue, by the looks of it, merfolk type deck. So, we're going to jump straight into a game. We're using a deck that I've constructed myself, uh, I've called it Green Growth. It's a mono green deck that basically ramps and then puts big things out. Pretty much what any green deck does. Um, now if you're brand new to Magic, uh, you will sort of get a sense of how the game is played as I play. Um, it is a collectible card game. If, as I say, if you are new to Magic, probably not best to watch this. Um, if there's interest, then I might do a learning how to play magic. Um, oh god, I'm mulling in that. Um, but yeah. Now, you might think, oh, you know, it's a free-to-play game, which means it's pay-to-win. And to be honest, it's so far I'm not seeing that. Um, I've played quite a few games, I've played, as I say, for about four hours or so, and, as I say, so far I've not seen it be pay to win. Um, you do come across some decks that are really, sort of, heavily constructed, but, you know, that's competitive magic. Sometimes you will see a, you know, properly decked out deck that you have no chance of winning against. You know. But you can get that for free, so really, damn. Uh, yeah, no blockers. Take the two. Uh, let's drop you in. Uh, no, no, cancel attacks. No attackers. Yeah. Hopefully, they'll attack me again, and I can Titanic growth. Them having a flyer doesn't help though. Uh, oh. Damn it. It's bigger and now it also has death touch. Yes, I want that to block. Oh. Block. You to there. One blocker. And because I tapped that for mana, I fucked up. Oh my god. Right. Let us out. See, 
See, this is what happens when you're not concentrating fully on a game. Um, <laughs> you start messing up with, like, the basics. I've got to stop that thing hitting me. So, yeah, all three of them, block it, kill it. Thank you. It is annoying that whatever he summons gets that death touch and... Ooh! There we go. That's a good thing for me. So what this guy does is at the beginning of every upkeep, I create a little sapling token. Which means that on his turn I make one, my turn I make one, so on and so forth, and eventually if it works out right, I can sort of get a critical number of them and... oh dear. <laughs> I want to kill that guy so that they don't have death touch anymore. No, no blockers for the second. Especially because I have that, I want to use that to... If he attacks with everything again next turn... You get. Yeah, I'm probably losing this match. Though, if he attacks with everything again. Come on, swing with that as well. Damn you. Right, you block that. One blocker. Cast that, kill it. Come on. Destroy the creature. Oh. You know what? I am going to concede because there's no chance of me actually being at that point. Ah. Oh. Now because I've got it set on competitive at the moment, it's actually a best of two, or a best of three rather. So. I still have a chance to come back. Now, this isn't the best of decks, and it doesn't have all the cards I would like to have in it. Um, but, you know, again, I'm not spending loads of money on booster packs for a virtual game. Um, in real life, I spend money on booster packs, um, and very much enjoy Magic the Gathering. But considering this is still sort of very early in its life, I'm not going to spend loads of money on it and then suddenly, oh yeah, we, you know, cancelled it now. Uh, that's the only thing that I've got to create creatures in my hand, no thank you. I'm going to risk it with a single land, oh god. Uh, yeah, no. Right. Drop you, drop you. That gets me two mana at least, so... If I get a third, I can do something. Like, cast you. Yes! So that lets me get... I land in my hand for the next turn. Damn it. They're probably going to take the tendency. Oh, really? 
Okay. I thought they would have taken the tender shoot, but... Because they know I've got a titanic growth now. Yes, we resolve it. And I can't block, so... Ouch. Let's get that thing out. At least I'll get a sapling from it. Though he's probably got a murder in his hand by now. I also like that the environment is sort of... You can play with it a little. So that you can make the scorpion scuttle a little faster. And each environment is different, so it has different things to play with. Which sound weird, but hey. Come on. Make a decision. Do something. Took you that long to decide to play a land? <laughs> and yeah, death. Damn it. I didn't think my tender shoot would live that long. There are three of them in the deck, though. So, that's not too terrible. Okay. Now if I get enough attack damage out, he's going to cost a lot less. Mm. No attackers and... That's annoying. He's not going to be worried about attacking now. Right. Throw that against that. Buff it up first. That's one of these creatures gone at least, although it took one of mine with it. Even if I get him out, he can still just attack me with death touch. I could bot both of them on that. take the damage for the minute. It's only three damage, I can still survive for a little while. Oh, sorry, four damage. Come on, give me something decent. I must admit, some of the cards are awesome with how they do that. However, that is a really big pain. <laughs> oh. I need like one more land, I think. If I get one more land, I can cast that. However, considering he now has that, I'm probably, probably going to lose. Yep. Right, no blockers. Yeah, no. Unless I get something to kill him in my hand.
Yeah, even letting me cast that. Concede, because he's going to hit me with his flyer and then I'm dead. Ah, well. But, we did play a game. So we got that deck. And if we cast 40 blue or green spells, we'll unlock a corset booster pack. That's nice. Let's take a look at that deck that we just unlocked. Okay, yeah, so it is Merfolk. So this is the thing, you do unlock new decks. Um, I should say, by the way, um, these decks here, uh, one, two, three, four, and five, all of those you unlock uh, when you first start playing the game, uh, when you complete the tutorial, it will give you those decks. It will also give you some of these wild cards. I think you get one mythic, two rares, um, I think five uncommon and ten uh, common. And that will allow you, the wild cards are designed to give you any card of their corresponding level. So, for example, if we search for common, just in green, it will show you all of the cards that are available in green. These little pips above the card show you how many of them you have. So, for example, I have three Jade Bearers, mostly because they're all in this deck already. But if I wanted another Jade Bearer, it's a common card. So I can trade one common wild card for a Jade Bearer. Not gonna, but I could. So that lets you get, you know, cards of the corresponding level. Now, there are a lot of cards. Uh, because if we look at the Purchase the Wolf packs, we've got Ixalan, Rivals of Ixalan, Dominaria, Corset, and Guilds of Ravnica, the latest set. So... There's a lot of cards to go from, um, which is nice that there's so many, you know, cards available. Um, but yeah, so it's not too bad. Um, it's not as bad as I thought it would be uh, with like pushing micro uh, micro transactions, um, giving you sort of these. So if I win, I get 250 gold just instantly. Um, we'll switch to just normal play and jump in for another match. So with normal play, it's just a one-on-one -on -one and one game wins. Uh, you'll tend to be put up against someone of the same level as you. Um, that doesn't always mean that they've got equal cards. It just means that they're sort of at the same win to loss ratio as me. Because you have to win so many games in a row to advance to the next level, and every time you lose a game, you sort of drop back. So it slows your growth down. So, what type of deck are you playing? Oh, a swamp. A black deck again! Okay. While I can, may as well hit. I do like having creatures with vigilance. Okay, black and white deck. Lifelink vampires. Okay, yeah. Well, let's have. You know what? Combat, attack, attack with everything. Okay, then. Deal damage. If he ain't gonna stop me... I ain't gonna waste titanic growth on just dealing four extra damage. Not unless it kills the opponent. Now, I must admit, when playing Magic, I tend to play Commander mostly. 
Um, it's the format that me and my playgroup sort of work with mostly. Um, so it's been quite a while since I've built a standard deck or anything like that. Uh, they're threes now. No. No attackers. Wait for him to attack me. And then hopefully I can kill it. So yeah, um, if you look at the background, we've got a lightning shock tower, a dancing golem, and two little gargoyles that sneeze or shake their heads when I tap them, which I think is awesome. Uh, you know what? Combat, attack, attack with everything. Because no matter what he blocks, I've got titanic growth to stop. Really, I want to kill that lieutenant. Because if I kill the lieutenant, that thing gets smaller. So it's more likely I can kill it later. <clears throat> okay, so he made that guy bigger. Probably so he gained more life. Fair enough, I suppose. And I've got this prepared just in case he gets something with flying down. Because white-black decks often have a flyer. I do love the g dancing golem there. Ooh, that's painful. That's it. If that thing starts attacking, that's going to be bad. And that sucks that I didn't get any... Land is nice, but I wanted something else. That's one thing green lacks a little of, card draw. Hard to keep a full hand. Ugh. Hopefully he's scared of whatever this is. Because <laughs> leaving seven mana open, this could be something really big. Oh, damn it. I'm not letting that thing enter the battlefield. Not letting him have a flyer, that would just be terrible. I think if he started attacking me, I would probably lose. But he's not, so... Okay. I'll just build up defenses. Green is brilliant at building up defenses and then attacking late. If you're ever fighting against a green deck, just hit constantly, as quickly and as fast as you can. Because if you let them build up mana, they will build up a ridiculous board state. Okay, so if he gains more than five life, uh, then he gets a 4-4 Angel. That, that's terrible, because he's gaining two life with that one, and then two life with the two cats he creates. Oh dear, I need to kill those off. Oh, 
Okay. I've got to wait for him to attack me before I use that. At least it'll let me save one of my creatures. Preferably you, because then I can gain life off you again. Probably going to swing with his angel, though. Yeah, really, he should swing with everything. Because it would demolish my board, and then he'd be left with, like, two flying angels or something. <laughs> but sometimes it's hard to give up the board state that you've got. You don't want to attack and lose your creatures. Because you feel like, oh, if I lose my creatures, then I'll start losing the game. But you're not taking into consideration that I'd lose some of mine, too. Another flyer, that sucks. Okay, nice, yeah. Figured he'd do that. Really, I'd be attacking with that as well, but okay. Yeah, let them resolve. Let's move to blockers. You block that. Two more of them block that because I need to kill it. I'll have two of them block that. And then one each for the cats. Okay, well, he's got forest to play next turn. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, really? Another forest? This deck really isn't doing well. I won so many games with it yesterday, and now today it's just like, yep, yeah, nope. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, that's just instantly going to give him another angel at this point. I'm going to surrender because there's no chance of hitting him for enough damage at this point. He has too many flyers. I would have really liked the magic video to actually have had me win at some point, but alas, it didn't. Uh, but um, let me know, guys, if you enjoyed the uh, the game. Um, I might come on here again in the future. But uh, until then, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I shall see you next time.